that all of us are yearning for. Delegates from the 18 local government areas of Edo State, numbering 339, converged on the National Youth Council Hall, Benin, to elect the governorship flag bearer of the United Progressive Party. After the accreditation exercise, delegates queued up to elect the governorship candidates. However, before the exercise could commence, two aspirants of the party stepped down for advisor Nuwamagbe, also known as the masses chairman. At the end of the exercise, 327 delegates voted yes for advisor Nuwamagbe, four voted no, while eight delegates did not vote. Chairman of the election committee, who is also the national officer of the UPP, announced the results. <laughs> The elected advisor Nwamagbe, who said he was overwhelmed, said as a professional musician, he has what it takes to govern Edo State, particularly as a grassroots person who knows the needs of the ordinary man on the streets. Today I am very proud to do this talk to that. For somebody's name to appear in ballot paper as a gubernatorial candidate to contest for governorship election, you will know that that person has got it all. State chairman of the party and other members who commended delegates for the peaceful conduct of the election said the party's flag bearer will provide the dividends of democracy to the people if elected as the governor of the state. Abrasan Uwamakbe is a man fully loaded. Fully loaded in the sense that if you get closer to him, you'll be able to know the type of person Abrasan Uwamakbe is. He was born in the street. He suffered. He go to job and all. Later become a musician. I don't think he will open his eyes, see people running up and down the street, no job, nothing. A graduate cannot get a job. We expect a lot of things from him, things that we don't expect, things that some people feel is not possible. Advisor Shadrach Nwamagbe will make it possible. Supporters of Advisor Nwamagbe and other members of the party later took to the street to celebrate the emergence of the masses chairman as candidates of the United Progressive Party. Rosalind Evorame reporting.